Hello there peeps, welcome back to Subnautica. Today we are still exploring the um, inactive lava zone, quote quote, inactive, active, and I think I went the wrong way last episode. But this episode we are going this direction once again. And I'm trying to move as quickly as possible so that we can save some time. There we go. It felt like we were going the wrong direction. I think so. I'm not too sure. But yeah, I am super happy and... Because we got ourselves our first sulfur. And that means we can maybe at some point upgrade the... Uh, the prawn of its jetpack. So it can be more efficient, I think. Yeah, I've got to... Woo! There is it, there it is. That's the... Let's just get a better view of it. Oh, wow, look at it. I wonder if I can shoot it with something to get its attention. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's breathing fire. Wait, fire underwater? Wow, it is gigantic. It's beautiful and freaking scary at the same time. So let's get out here. Get another sulfur. We just need another one. Speak of the devil. No, that was not it. What are you? <laughs> there, go that way. Jeez. <laughs> okay, it is magnificent and all. I bet you it is like incredibly strong and stuff. I don't know. I don't have words for it. You know, man, it's it's something else. A fire-breathing fish, basically, underwater. Oh man, and I'm glad we are here. Oh, oh. Does my eyes deceive me? No, it doesn't. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, that was dumb. So let's explore a tiny bit more. Uh, yeah, if I can do it correctly. Is that a warper? That's a warper. Yeah, that is something I don't really want to mess with, especially in these dangerous areas. Because it will warp me out and maybe into fire or something, then I am as good as gone. Ah, man, I am so glad we came here. We got all the sulfur we need. What the hell? What was that? I wonder if there's more than one. I'm not too sure. It could be, but I just think it's the one. What was it called again? Sea King Emperor or something. It's something, something. I'm not too sure. The Sea King or the Sea Emperor or something. What is that? Ow. I don't know what that is. Hmm. But well, this is really cool, so if this is the first time you're seeing it, welcome. Welcome to hell. This is basically what this place looks like. 
Or, well, what I think hell would look like. There's Satan flo floating around. Alright. Got that. Hey, little guy. Bye bye. <laughs> I should stop that because that is eating so much energy. But it's funny. Who could resist? Oh, oh, oh. Warpers close by. Be ready to shoot him or something? So let's just keep to this side. And I'm trying to make my way sort of back to the uh, Cyclops. So, yeah. But it's very cool, and I think they deliberately did put it at the entrance of one of the caves or something. Maybe there's one at each entrance of each active lava zone. I think there is more than one entrance. Yeah, let's move a little bit forward. Yeah, that did not reach. And that wasted energy. Where did it go? Is it just gone? Is that guy coming for me? No, it's not. And... There we go. Okay, I cannot, like, pick that up and break it in pieces. But that would be cool. That would be really cool if we could do that. Yeah, it disappeared. Maybe it's planning an attack. It's coming from behind. No, it's not. Okay, so we kind of have to move into that direction. So we will have to see. That scared me. Also. And it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so this is the active lava zone. It is really cool. Uh, yeah, hopefully I am going the right direction. Or oh, was it this way? Mm, not too sure now. I think it's this way. There we go. Okay, that was a fail. Yeah, it looks like that Sea Emperor thing disappeared, that big ass creature. Which is odd. I think this was the correct zone. Just wanna get out and go back to the Cyclops. I mean, I think it's fine to get out here. Quickly. Chow something, chow something, drink, and drink a tiny bit of that water. Alright, cool. Making my way back. And we got her back. <laughs> it's like recycling water. You drink it, you sweat it out, and then your suit captures your sweat, and yeah, but it, I think it does taste funny. Real funny. Alright. Yeah, I think this is the correct way to go. Yeah, this looks good. So that's been an interesting run, and I got my sulfur I needed to upgrade the Cyclops. For, or not the Cyclops, the uh, prawn suit. It's jump efficiency or something, or jump module or something. Oops. I think they can add stuff here as well. You know, it feels empty. I mean, I don't know if it should be that way, but... I'm pretty sure they can add something here that could make it a bit more interesting. Maybe a certain creature or creatures or plant or, or something. I don't know. Okay, we are doing very well. I don't know if it's daytime or nighttime. It looks like daytime. But I'm pretty sure we will get there to the Cyclops in no time. Come on. No. There we go. And jump. Okay. 
Just a little boost. Alright, that did not do anything. Oh, I feel like a regular Tomb Raider, just underwater. Ah, almost. Nope. But we are gradually climbing out, out from this hellhole. I, you could literally call this a hellhole. I mean, it is. Although it wasn't that bad, it was quite pleasant. Didn't get attacked much. And we did see um, something large and demonic. Well, not really demonic. It could be Satan himself. Maybe it could be his pet. Who knows? Okay, that was a fail. There we go. And jump. Hey, I want to go there. And it didn't reach. Great. And land. Okay, so this is quite a process to get out. Pretty sure some of you are like, yeah, why do I have to watch this? I know, I know. But it's part of the experience. You know, it's part of the adventure. And grab there. Please? No. There. Yes. Ugh. Man, this is hard. I think the prawn was not desi designed for this type of maneuvering and... Oh, there it is. Cyclops. Maneuvering and traversing of this sort of terrain. I'm pretty sure we could have gotten the Cyclops in there, in a way. But we couldn't have gone far. So now we need to get out. I don't think it's that far to the surface. I mean, 600 meters, not bad. Jump. Ow! Welcome aboard. That's weird. All systems online. Thank you, scary voice. Is that our power? It's draining so quickly. Ew. Let's quickly sort out the power situation real fast. That, that, that. I think one of them are not 100% charged. That one. That one. You might as well change that up. Damn, that is noisy. Close those doors. Close them doors. Okay. And let's go ahead and put back these guys, these and these. And we can go ahead and store here at resources all these guys. There we go. And let's go ahead and drink some of that, eat some of that, and drink some of that again. Okay, cool. Put that back into food and waters. There we go. Now let's see if we cannot get out of here. That was a new sound. Never heard that before. What happens if we move forward? Okay. Uh, wow, it is really freaking dark. I'm trying to move into this direction. Oh, well. We are steadily climbing, so it means we are doing well. Yes. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Move into this direction. Okay. It's all good. It's all good. Alright, let's get camera view out. And see, this is the tower. I think we can just go up. I love it that it has like a flashlight. At least. 
Now, after seeing that Sea Emperor thing creature, the Leviathan does not look that scary for more, to me anymore. At all. It looks normal-ish. Alright, let's turn a bit this way. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, I think we sh Oh, it's just you. Yeah, you can go away now. You're not, you're not the biggest thing anymore. Go away. You're prophetic right now. Yeah, just, just go. Cr climb in your hole. Or go pick on fish smaller than you. Ah, well, that was an amazing journey, I must say. Next time, we should probably just explore it. Just go through it completely and see what there is. I think that was almost all of what we could have seen. You know. But it's pretty cool. I mean, it was a... We saw the emperor thingy, uh, creature. We saw the... Um, what was it called? It was parasites. It was big parasites. Uh, we saw... Big-ass diamonds. I think that's what they were. And what else did we see? I don't know. Not much, actually. <laughs> But it's a really cool zone and all that. I'm glad they added it. I think it was there. I'm not too sure about it. But I think it was there. Already. Or, yeah. Whatever. Alright. Let's just get back. I think that's a reef back over there. What are those lights? They just disappeared. Yeah, that looks like a reef back. Over there. Yeah, that's the sound of one. So let's see it here at the bottom. Uh, no, this is the back end. Let's just keep it that way. And this is the... F front end. Let's just go up. Ah, so beautiful. Don't tell me we're gonna hit it. I don't wanna hit it. Yeah, it doesn't look like it, but yeah. So anyways, I think this is the end of the episode. So thank you so much guys for joining me here on Subnautica. I am going to put the series on hold for now. There is a new game I wanna check out, but I would definitely recommend you guys to stick around. It's a game called Osiris New Dawn. It's sort of like Subnautica, only it's in space and on land the whole time. Uh, there is creatures you can tame. There is buildings we can build. All the beautiful things we would really want. The same as this. You know, the same. It's also alpha and also... Yeah. And, um... You know, if you want to stick around long enough to see it, uh, just hit that subscribe button if you really want to, and uh, you might get notified. Ooh, what did we hit? Huh. Oh, I think we're scraping the bottom there. But yeah. Let me just turn this way. But yeah, so hit that subscribe button and thank you so much for joining me here on Subnautica. Hope you guys did enjoy the episode. Ugh, just crash landing. Hope you guys did enjoy, enjoy the episode. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and share the video among your friends. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>